<laughs> All right, folks, welcome back. Please bear with any background racket you might hear throughout this production. Uh, we're working on a 95 Dodge Diesel here. Uh, 28 year old pickup at the time of this, actually closer to 29. The brakes failed on us here a while back at a broken brake line, so I'm going through and replacing all of the components in the brake system. And right now we're at the point of I'm trying to take off this rear drum. And whether or not it has ever been off of here before, I do not know. But what I do know is it doesn't want to give up right now. Now, uh, first thing, you know, you want to try to wiggle it and see what you got going on. The studs seem to be fused to the drum, which is probably part of it. Now, I do have the truck in neutral. you got to be careful with it. But I'll show you here. that the axle will spin and I don't feel you know anybody under 30 will tell you it's all about how you feel uh, I don't feel any resistance from the brake pads that doesn't mean that there's not any but it feels like just the mechanical movement of the axle the rear end when I turn it but it will turn relatively freely so the first thing I'm going to do is try to wiggle this back and forth side to side and see if I get any budge out of it there's nothing right now and I already tried this uh, rubber mallet, you know, beating around the edge of it. And man, I got nothing. So I'm going to step up the game a little bit. I'm going to use a metal hammer. Now, I'm, I'm going to try not to break the drum. If it breaks, it's not the end of the world. But just know if you're banging on cast iron with a steel tool, there's the potential that you could crack it. Then I'm going to hit over here around each of the studs. Don't beat on the studs. And after doing that, it didn't break it loose either. So I'm going to move on and give it a little squirt of some penetrant oil down into each one of those. And now we got to hurry up and let that wait a little bit. We also want to give a little shot of that penetrating oil right around where the hub sits. That's a big contact area. Now we've beat on this thing for a while, the oil's had a chance to soak in for a good little bit, and short of hitting it with my purse, I've come to the determination that tapping on it's not getting it loose. So the next step I'm going to try is back here on the back edge, you've got about a, maybe about a quarter of an inch of material you can reach. You don't want to bend on the dust cover on the back side of it, but get on the meat of the brake drum back there with a piece of metal a tool and a hammer and what we're going to try to do is knock it forward off of that edge and see if we can get any wiggle in it because we're still locked up tight there's no wiggle around the, the center hub or around any of the studs i'm going to use this flat nose metal punch and a hammer and start knocking on it from the backside and see what kind of progress we can make. So now it has been a while. The penetrating oil has had time to take effect. I've tapped on it in every direction that you can tap on this thing. And it still hasn't come loose. So now I'm going to try applying a little heat around some of these contact surfaces here. Uh, just try not to catch anything on fire. Have a contingency plan in case it does.
And basically at this point now we're just using a little heat to make the metal expand and contract to try to loosen up the surfaces. You're not going crazy, you're not looking to make anything red hot, but by changing the temperature of the metal, you're giving yourself the opportunity to break those rusty surfaces free of each other for a limited time so that we can get this thing off of there. Once they cool back down, they'll probably go back like they were. But while they're hot, there's a chance we could get it to come loose. Just use a little common sense. If you're heating this up, it's going to be hot. We're getting nowhere quick with this thing. I just saw movement, folks. The whole drum just wiggled just a little bit there. So now I'm going to turn it 180 degrees and smack it on the other side and see if I can get that movement to replay. There we go. We're loose. Finally. Loose is a relative term. I'm going to go tap on it from the back. Uh, as Ed Jimenez would say, uh, tap it lightly from behind. Uh, success. Thanks for watching.